Good morning, what's up? It's Sunday, so I've got another review for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at Shea Revival, but it's a pretty big deal this time because if you guys have kind of shopped for Shea Revival in the past like two months or so, particularly Crystal Lake, you would have noticed that it's been out of stock, not available, not even with the retailers. And this is because like Shea Revival has done a reformulation of their entire line, bringing in also a new product, American Gardens, which is a styling clay. That's what we'll be looking at today. And so all these new products are going to be available to you guys tomorrow the 7th, 7th, on Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. like Pacific time. And I mean, these are gonna be like stock items, not gonna be limited quantity, limited edition, but like, trust me, there's gonna be a lot of people ordering, a lot of people have been waiting for Crystal Lake and stuff like that. And so there is gonna be like, whoever orders first is gonna be priority and stuff. But also, Crystal Lake actually won't be released and ready to ship tomorrow, but it will be shipped later on within the next few weeks. So pre-order is gonna be opening up on Monday for Crystal Lake. Everything else is going to be in stock and ready for you to buy. And of course, promo code still applies to pump. So new products come in, go ahead and use that, save a little bit of money, Christmas gift for yourself, for someone else, whatever it is. Anyways, we're going to go into review now today. Like I said before, we're looking at Sheer Revival, American Gardens, Styling Clay. And so this is a new take on the styling clays. And as I said before, like clay pomades, we're going to start seeing them from home brewers and it's going to be a big deal because that's where we're headed right now. That's the new product to get. And so, let's go ahead and look at a close-up of the jar itself. This is it. This is Sheer Revival American Gardens Styling Clay. And so, if you guys recognize American Gardens, it's actually from American Psycho. It's the hotel he stayed in, I think. Or not the hotel, like the apartment complex. And so, as with any other like Sheer Revival product, it's always like a shout out, an allusion to like classic movies or sometimes has it, I think it's also been just like music that like Zach likes. But either way, it's always been like allusions to pop culture and stuff like that. And so you have images on the front, really clean this time. You have a new four ounce glass jar. Labels have been changed from paper to vinyl, which is a huge improvement, a matte vinyl. So really nice print. Directions on one side, stuff on the other black metal tin and inside you'll see the clay product itself and it has a nice like neutral color and you can tell by the consistency and we should go ahead and say this now that this is an oil based pomade the main ingredient is like hydrogenated castor oil and that's the big change Zach has made throughout his products is switch to petroleum to hydrogenated castor oil which we'll talk about later on maybe in the next reviews and stuff like that where it's more applicable but that's the product let's go ahead and start using it Honestly, when I first like smelled this pomade, the first thing it reminded me of was like Mountain Dudes. And Mountain Dudes was a limited product made by um, Old Dudes, and it was a play on his name. I mean, his the correct pronunciation is Old Dudes, and so I call it Old Dudes just because I've always called it that, and I call it to his face as well. But Mountain Dudes is that take on that interpretation of his last name, but also a pun. And the smell of it is like a Mountain Dew. It has this like limey like carbonated type of smell. Like that's what I get out of this product. But pushing more towards like a herbiness, like a spice and stuff like that. Like it's nice, without a doubt, it's nice. And also all the other scents have been changed on the product. So we'll talk about those in the respective reviews. But styling of it now. So before we go into it exactly, or as I go into it, um, Zach was highly influenced by the Admiral uh, Matt Clay, which is also another um, good clay. It's not the best by far, but it's extremely affordable and it's solid. And out of all the companies that like go to labs for uh, a product within that price range, it's definitely one of the best clays out there because it's affordable, it works well. But of course, there's still some downsides. I mean, it's a water-based product, and so in the right environment, it actually will like dry up. Whereas this product absolutely doesn't now that we're looking at an oil based pomade and one of the best oil based pomades though completely ridiculously priced is the Baxter clay and so following them we now have another oil based clay because with a good clay pomade what we're balancing is texture and stickiness you actually want both because you basically you want enough texture to cause separation between hair clumps but you want enough stickiness to keep like the individual hairs together. You don't want separation on the individual follicle level. You want it just like on like the width or like the clumps that kind of will fit between your fingers. And so keeping it on that high level 
is kind of balancing between the stickiness and the texture in a product. And the oil base really allow you to do that. And I'm, but of course, of course, of course, we're like always, we're still waiting for a water-based pomade. Given the new characteristics of our water-based pomades, I think it's highly like plausible for us to believe that we can do the same thing with even more cleansiness with a clay pomade using the new water-based like formulas. <laughs> Yeah, of course, it applies easily and stuff like that. So it reminds us a lot of like the Admiral Matte Clay, but it addresses a lot of like the, the downsides, the disadvantages of the Admiral Matte Clay with the new oil-based formula and just the refinement of this product. And so what we get is like, it has like a nice semi-grainy texture in the hands. Still has a little bit of like stick. And honestly, I still think we can push that clay aspect even harder with this product but at least it does go in and kind of, even though it's like an oil-based pomade, even though it is like, it looks like a greasy product, the clay really just cleans it up. Like you actually won't feel that in your hair, which is really interesting actually. And of course, given Zach's kind of taste in products, like this is gonna be like a lightweight, light, medium hold product. Like that's what the matte clay was and that's what I know Zach to kind of admire, to aspire to because he, like many of the other brewers, well, many of the better brewers out there kind of see the beauty in like a lightweight product and a light hold product in terms of styling your hair and also maintaining the unique characteristics of your hair, giving you enough to style with, but not enough to go and make a head wedge or some stupid psycho billy like thing. But yeah, so with the product applied, go ahead, comb through it. Still, so we're gonna basically proceed through styling this product, this hairstyle, just the same way as like any time before. As we can imagine, really easy to comb through. I mean, like I said, it's like a lightweight product, medium light hold. And also because like the clay in the product, it kind of, I don't want to say it lubricates it, but it prevents the product from really sticking to your comb, which just makes things really glide. But yeah, so we're gonna start styling now. Unfortunately, I am due for a haircut, at least if I want to maintain this like drop fade and stuff like that. And so I'm gonna get a haircut probably next weekend or sometime next next week not this upcoming week but next week and we can go ahead and clean up the sides because as you guys can tell it's grown back but yeah basically same way as in the how-to video i'm basically just gonna start styling it letting it rest letting it sit and then restyling it and we'll see what kind of pomp i can form All right, and so we'll just call this one done. Been kind of combing it, finger combing it, resetting it, throwing it back up, pushing it down. And this is definitely like a, like a lightweight, light, medium hold product. And as you can tell, I mean, there's a little bit of shine. There's a good amount of slickness in this product. Like you can tell right away that compared to the other clay products we've seen that kind of really give this matte feel this one's not really the case and I mean that's both the good side and the bad side at the same time it's because like the good side is that you get a balance between like a stickiness and texture which is really nice because then we don't have any like individual stray hairs going on right now which is nice but then you just have an overall kind of texture to the hair on like the high level but then the downside is that stickiness, that greasiness is also gonna weigh it down, but this is like a light hole, medium hole pomade. So this is what Zach intended. Whereas with some of the other pucks, we get exceptional holes and stuff like that. And that's what we are more accustomed to. That's what we had expected. But there's still some like beauty to this product. Like if you're going for a loose slick back, like this thing is killer. Like this stuff is just the shit. But also let's go over everything. Application, super easy. Consistency, beautiful. Like, by far out of all the clay pomades we've I kind of looked at, this has been one of the nicest. Even the Admiral Matte Clay, it's just it's just so much of like a white paste. It like gets my hair white and I have to like really agitate it to make it go away. Baxter's a pain in the ass to apply. Lockhart's Matte Clay is a pain in the ass to apply. And this one's like actually the only time where it's been super easy. It's super soft. Slickness, definitely slicker than any other clay pomade we've used but that also is a concern. There needs to be a ceiling to that. Um, texture, there is 
good amount of texture in this product. I mean, it provides it. It makes your hair like dry in terms of styling, but not dry in terms of like the feel, the health of it. Like this product isn't brutal. It has finesse. It has refinement to it. And then the strength, this one is where, where it definitely like lacks in. But of course, as I said before, Shea Revival, that's not an accident. It's purposely made so like it, he doesn't provide you with like a heavy hold or a strong hold. He provides you with a light, medium hold. And then lastly, just control overall. Like this is actually a really interesting balance with these like clay pomades and specifically this one where he gives you enough con uh, control to kind of form some sort of shape. But as you can tell, he takes away that control so that you get like a lot of texture so that you can't do something like too well shaped, too well formed. And so this is what we get. Um, it's very likely that my hair is going to get messed up during the day, but of course this is a clay pomade. Finger comb that into a loose slick back. And that's why I wish I had my hair cut still, like I'd rather my hair had not grown out so much. Then a loose slick back is beautiful with a job fade. And so um, hopefully I'm going to get a haircut soon and really enjoy this product. But Go throughout the whole day now, then I'll come back, talk about endurance, and talk about how like it restyles during the day, because that's gonna be like a big deal, a big characteristic to this clay pomade. So on that, see you guys in a few hours. I'm back now, end of the day, it's about almost kind of like 5 p.m. now. And so let's go ahead and kind of talk about how well this pomade performed throughout the day. So endurance, I mean, this is a medium light hold pomade, so it didn't necessarily hold like without fail. I mean, it did fall to the side. It did kind of just fall apart. It did start kind of just sagging, but like it's easily restylable. I mean, this is still an oil based pomade. And even so with these new water based pomades, those are completely restylable. Like they do not dry to any extent. But what was cool throughout the whole day was that like, the oil components, the oil aspect of this product kind of was absorbed, went away, whatever happened to it, what really resulted was this kind of more dry effect. The clay really came out, the texture really came out, and just like the overall dryness made the product feel really nice, both clean, and also when you restyle it, it's a lot better. But the issue is that I already styled it during the, in the morning, and so it had already kind of set into its shape during the day, and so even if I had the extra dryness, even if I had that extra kind of cleaner hold, I wasn't really able to take advantage of it. But at the same time, it's not like I really needed the extra volume or even really wanted it and stuff like that. That allows me to go ahead and just style a clean pump, keep it clean, and not be bothered by any sort of greasiness of this product. And so, recent rinsability, it washes out for me in one go. The hydrogenated castor oil makes it a lot easier to wash out. And so, in one shampoo, all of the oil is basically out. I say 95% of the product is out, 90 to 95. And anything, that, anything that's actually left over is a really nice dry wax. And so, what you get is a lot, a lot of like strong hold, a lot of like potential assist, assistance in your next styling or in the next day that morning. Um, what else I want to talk about? The scent is essentially kind of gone. I mean, you will run your fingers throughout your hair, so you probably will get a little bit of residue on your fingers. Maybe you'll get some smell from that, but overall, it wasn't really a super strong scent to begin with. It was present without a doubt, but it's not overpowering. I actually really like the scent too. Um, what else I want to talk about? Greasiness, of course, like not apparent. The clay really cleans it up, and like I said before, it gets even more and more dry throughout the day. But that dryness does not really dry out my hair. My hair still feels good and also still looks good. The issue of every single other clay pomade I've used is that it dries the hell out, head off, like the hell, the, the hell out of my hair, and it gets really brutal. And like when I shower that like night, I put in like extra conditioner just to make up for that extra dryness that resulted from those other clay pomades. But that's not the case with this product, so I do really appreciate that. And so overall, like. Sheer Revival American Garden Styling Clay receives my seal of approval. It's just like a highly refined, super clean, super nice like clay pomade. It might not be as strong as others. It might not style as beautiful as like a loose pomade as some of the others, but those come at a huge sacrifice. My hair feels like shit. My hair feels like it's gonna die. And it's an uncomfortable process to work with, whereas this one is smooth in, smooth out, and afterwards your hair doesn't feel dead. And if you're not going for like a high volume hairstyle, this one is actually perfect. 
If you're going for like a side part with like some texture to it, a loose slick back, this is more than ideal for you. Even if, if I can style some sort of pomp with this one, then like you will have no issue at all. And so I would honestly highly recommend this product because it's like a new interpretation of a clay. Take what you see in Baxter, clean it up, take away the greasiness, make it a little more smooth, not allow it to like just kill your hair. And this is what you get. A more refined, clean, just like a smooth, the smoothest clay we've seen so far. Yes, there's still some changes I would like, preferably like want to see in like future iterations and future products developed by other home brewers, more texture, more clay, more volume, stuff like that. But for this one already, this is a huge step for us and this is a huge step in the right direction. And so when this one releases tomorrow, Monday, 10 p.m. Eastern on the sheerrevival.com website, links below, use my promo code. I mean, if you want to save money, it's up to you, but you can use it and also pick up this product along with any other products. They've all been reformulated. And this one, this one and along with Crystal Lake, which we will visit in the near future because that one also got reformulated. But honestly, my choices, American Garden Styling, Styling Clay and Crystal Lake are the, like the must gets. And also Christmas season for you or for someone else, whatever. By the way, this has been a review for Shea Revival, American Gardens, Styling Clay. Hope you guys got something out of this view. Other than that, I look forward to looking at more clay pomades in the future and have a good weekend. Peace.